Hello, everybody, and welcome to Funding Grow's Black Friday 2021 special. We are so thankful that you've joined us. My name is Ari Page, and I'm excited to be talking about funding and how to help you launch and grow any business. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. I want to know, what's the number one thing that is holding you back. If you're on the call right now, you're probably an entrepreneur, a business owner, you're thinking about investing. Let me know, what's the number one thing holding you back? Now, we know from an economic standpoint that the number one thing holding people back, uh, at least 82% of businesses, which seems to be the largest demographic, is lack of funding. And we are here today to be able to help overcome this major lack of funding that many small and medium-sized businesses are experiencing in today's world. And so we're gonna be talking, the different benefits that we'll be talking about today include the 0% funding that comes with the business credit cards that we're talking about, and these business credit cards do not appear in your personal credit report. You can use it to buy real estate. You can uh, ACH or wire transfer directly from one of these 0% business cards to your titling attorney uh, in order to purchase real estate. You can, uh, you, what you're gonna end up learning is that the normal business that you or your business is doing it for either investing or your normal purchases, even just paying your facility's electric bill, all of that can earn you rewards and cash back. Thousands of dollars of that per quarter like Funding Grow does. All of this doesn't report on your personal credit. Now we're gonna be getting into all of this. Well, how you, you're not gonna need tax returns. You're not gonna need to, uh, to have income verification for this form of funding. Uh, not that we're advocating that anyone is disingenuous and that you do not need collateral or assets. So this is one of the most sought after and preferred ways of funding. But at the same time, it also ends up being a very inexpensive way to fund your business. For example, let's take a look at what, what I have here on the screen. So if you look at traditional ways of funding, you can see that uh, traditional ways of funding can lead to lots and lots of different types of, of, of extra fees. So you can have origination fees, you're gonna have high interest fees, and this is just for a, a basic business uh, type of loan. There's, there's a lot of different types of business loans out there, but many of them are gonna have origination fees, closing costs, high interest rates, and other associated fees. For the sake of our uh, example here, we just left it to a few fees being added, which could easily add up to 15,000 just on a basic $100,000 loan. And as you know, people are looking for 500. They're, they're looking for a lot of funding. So when you look at the, the business credit card and what the business credit card can provide to the small business owner, immediately you see that the total cost is way lower. And this cost right here, this 2,800 is simply for the wire transfer. So this is so that you can send your money directly from an unsecured business credit card that doesn't even show up in your credit report to a real estate transaction that you're completing, where you can just wire transfer the money just as if it's coming out of a bank account, and you can get that uh, you can get that 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 purchase completed. So this type of funding can purchase an asset, but the great thing about it is that it's not tied. To an asset and you're not going to lose any asset should you unfortunately be unable to pay it and we're not advocating that people are getting into anything over their head at all but what we are advocating is that people use safe funding you want to use the safest funding available and this type of funding is unsecured meaning that it's not secured to a home equity line or in other words a house like a home equity line of credit would be it's not secured to an auto loan or any other type of secured loan for like a piece of equipment at your business or the way the sba loans are uh, securitized. This type of funding is unsecured. And so this is the cream of the crop funding that you really need. And before you think that it's not going to work for you, just know that if you live in America, you have a social security, uh, a social security number, and you have an address in America, then you can get this funding too. And that's the beautiful thing about our system is that you can use OPM, other people's money, or in this case, other banks' money. And they can, you can use that money to invest on your behalf and not even lose equity within your deals and not lose uh, your, uh, you know, not give up half of your business for funding like a lot of people on Shark Tank. So let me ask you a question. What are you going to use the funding for? Come to the comments or, or, or the uh, questions area and let us know what, what, what do you use the funding in your business what, what are you doing? What industry are you in? What would you use the, best, the funding for? So Fund and Grow, we've been around for a number of years. And here you can see a picture of us uh, in front of our building. There were about 65 people all in all. Uh, and so what we are is a whole team of dedicated specialists that 
have been getting funding for people for quite a period of time. So we've been doing this since 2006, 2007, but since before the economic downturn. And we've really perfected our process in getting up to $250,000. And how to get these types of business credit cards using the card stacking process, which basically means that we're getting multiple of these 0% unsecured business credit cards that don't report to your personal credit and how to use that long term. That's the rotating balance part. And so we have a lot of clients that are doing this. We have clients that have 300,000. We have clients that have gone through, you know, one or two batches and they, they have 200,000 and everyone has that number they're looking for. Some clients are just looking for 50,000. Some clients are looking for 300,000. The question is, how much money do you need to start or scale your business. Come to the comments area, let us know. Are you looking for a quarter million? Are you just looking for 50,000? Let us know what, how much you're looking for. And so one of the things that's really important when it comes to getting funding from the banks is having your entity, in other words, your company, set up properly. And so entity structuring is really important. You don't wanna to go to the bank in a risky industry with a risky name with no seasoning. And so the industry that you're in is very important. For example, real estate is a very lendable industry. Business marketing is a very lendable industry. And so you have some industries that are highly lendable and then you have others uh, that aren't. And, and, and they might be more risky from the bank's perspective. So for example, if you have a, uh, an investment company you know, set up in the, in the industry of investing and the name of it is Ari's Risky Investment Company and it's been set up for one year, how do you think the banks are going to view that entity? They're not gonna view it kindly. Obviously I'm being a bit hyperbole by calling it Ari's Risky Investment Club, but the, the long and short of it is, is we have to make sure that the entity itself looks appealing to the bank. And when it comes to the industry, you control it. When it comes to the name, you control it. And interestingly enough, even when it comes to the seasoning, you can control that. And the, the, the reason for that is, is that we're able to help you set up an entity that's gonna match your years of industry experience. So if you have five years of industry experience, you can actually set up an entity that matches that. And we're gonna show you how to do that. And we're not talking about backdating and, and uh, buying an entity that's set up. We're not talking about doing this a disingenuous way. We're talking about doing it the right way. So if you've been in business for five years, for 10 years, then you're able to take that and incorporate it into an entity that will then reflect five or 10 years, depending on your industry experience. And then you're able to take that to the bank and use your industry seasoning. Uh, and when you have a company that has the right name, that you're in a, a safe industry, then you have the security that the bank is looking for. And that is the entity side of that. So the entity side of that is very important. You have to have the entity side uh, straightened out, but you also need to have the credit side straightened out. There's a few links in the chain in this process of getting access to unsecured business credit cards that are this lucrative. And so what, one of the ways that we approach this is by giving each of our clients a individualized consulting plan. And what that plan entails is exactly where they are at, where their credit is at, and what would take them to getting huge amounts of these unsecured cards. So some clients, their first cards are only 10,000, 5,000, you know, even four or five of those of a 10,000, it's $50,000, it's pretty decent. But we have other clients who on their first batch, they're getting 70, 80, 90, 100, 120,000 because they're getting larger cards. If you get four or five cards and each one's at 20, 30,000, that's a lot different than getting uh, uh, four cards at five or 10,000. And this is what clients are getting access to. Now, the reason why we're able to get the larger amounts is because we're credit experts. We understand exactly what we're looking at. And so we also have the ability to look directly at the consumer's report to be able to give them a weighted score, to be able to really understand the way that the bank would look at them because the way that the average person looks at your consumer at your credit report is a lot different than the way the bank is going to look at what's called a weighted score and that is the way that a your score would be if they were to approve you for a loan so a weighted score is based off of you actually gaining access to a loan. So if they were to give you access to $100,000, what would your score be? That's a weighted score. And so we, we need to be very aware of, if are we using the Beacon scoring module? And that's what Equifax uses a lot. Are we using the FICO Classic? Are we using the Fair Isaac, which is just a version two, which is a different version of FICO. The FICO is the Fair Isaac company. And so we need to be very aware of the scoring modules that are being used because we want to know exactly what the banks are thinking about you. We don't want to know, we, we don't want to just be spinning our wheels and looking at, uh, 
you know, something that we think is a credit report, but it's not actually the same way that the bank would be thinking about you. And so, ergo, if we can look at you the exact same way that the bank can, then we can have a, a much larger insight into getting you approved for more funding. And so it's really important that we understand what these codes mean. For example, here, uh, Equifax gives it 00030 for a time since most recent account opening. The FICO Classic version 4 has that as code 030. And so th these different codes pop up routinely, and our team is very expert at understanding what they're looking at. Now, just for comparison, I want to bring up a consumer credit report. A consumer credit report doesn't even give us half of the data that a business uh, like ours can get when we run your credit report. So when an actual bank or when a lender that can extend you credit runs your credit report, they're getting a weighted score. They're not getting one of these consumer credit scores. And so I'm gonna just point out a few things about this. First of all, do you guys know that most consumer credit reports, in fact, there's not a single one that you guys can go online and buy right now that would give you more than a 24 month payment snapshot? You have to either go to a mortgage company, an auto company, or a company like ours to pull your credit in order to see a full credit report. Otherwise, all the consumer places that you subscribe to that on credit monitoring, they only give you a 24 month payment history. So if this account had happened to have a late payment that was more than 24 months in the rears, it wouldn't even show up here. But yet when you go to, if, if I were to go to a bank and they run my credit, they're gonna see it. So my consumer credit report, in many cases, doesn't show me things that are actually on my report that a full bank credit report is going to show me. And you can see how, how uh, large these are. They, they have very few overall fields. You have just you know maybe a dozen fields here or less of information, and they're just not giving us much information at all. And this is the, what the average consumer report shows us. This right here is a USAA card. They're showing us Experian, the Equifax, the TransUnion part of this USAA card up here. This is a Target card. So what these are is two different accounts that shows up on someone's credit report, but you can see how confusing they make it. And let me show you just some of the, uh, in, in detail, just some of the problems that, are, that, that we experience on credit reports. So in front of you, what I've done is I've pulled up a, a credit report. I've taken all of the sensitive information of the client off of it. So what you're seeing in front of you, going from the left-hand side to the right-hand side is different uh, credit accounts. So the first credit account here is the First Bank of Colorado, and you can see that uh, the, it goes from the left-hand side to the right-hand side, just so that people understand what they're looking at here, that this is a credit report with all of these different lines. So we have trade line A, trade line B, trade line C, so on and so forth, going the whole way down. And then the trade line goes across here, and we have these different columns that tell us the different statuses. For example, the date reported, the date opened, the high credit amount. And so, the, so that's what we're looking at here is a full credit report. Now, what I wanted to show you guys on this credit report, let's start first with this Chase card. So we're gonna start first with this, with this uh, Chase card. So notice how this Chase card shows under the high credit field, it shows a zero. So there's no limit being reported into this field, but yet this client under the balance column has a $5,000 balance on a card that has no limit. Now this is really important to understand that whenever you're using a credit card that reports to your personal credit, and the credit we set up doesn't report to your personal, but whenever you have a credit card that does report to your personal credit, it's important to know that you can only use 35% of that card before it starts to bring your, current, your credit scores down. Now that's a huge thing to, to be aware of because if you're just using regular spending on credit cards uh, month to month, that could make your credit scores dip massively. And so if I have a $10,000 card, I can't put more than 3,500 on that card without it bringing my scores down. So I need to have big cards and just only use the 35% when using a personal card. Now in this case, with this particular client, this client had $5,000 on a card with no limit. So it thinks, the computer thinks that you are $5,000 over limit. Now that's why this client's scores were so low. Is he actually over limit? No. This client was given a card, this Chase card is called the Chase Cards Fair and Flexible card, <laughs> where they don't report a credit limit. And when they don't report a credit limit, what it does is it actually brings this, score, this client's score down. When he uses the card, which he's allowed to, he's been given the card, it actually brings his scores down. So what we help clients do in an instance like this is we help them impose a limit. So on this card, we happen to get the client updated to a $20,000 limit. 
So now he has $5,000 on a $20,000 card and his ratios completely changed. His scores went up. Now, Chase isn't the only bank to do this. Bank of America does it. All of the big banks do this. They, they'll call it the no limit card or the fair and flexible card. I think American Express calls it the open card. The reality of the matter is it's the card to screw you. That's what it's called. It's the screw you card. It's the card where they don't report a limit so that even if you put $1 on that card, you're now a dollar over limit. So they give this card to people that have good credit and it brings their scores down. This is the game that the banks play and this is what we do. We position you differently. Let's take a look at this GMAC mortgage. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, point out a few things here now on this mortgage. So this mortgage, this GMAC mortgage is in this red box here. And you can see that this account was opened in 2005, right? The date opened uh, uh, column says 2005. But if you look over here, we see a one, a one in the historical status column. Now, what does that mean? The historical status column is actually the column they use to determine the seasoning of the account. In other words, how long the account has been open. Now, why wouldn't they just use the date open? If this account was open here, then shouldn't that be the, the seasoning? Yeah, well, the banks don't wanna do that because you have access to this in your consumer credit. So on your consumer credit report, you have access to this, to this field here, but you do not have access to this field. So they can manipulate and change this field all they want. They can have a one in there. They can bring your seasoning down. They can make it look like you just opened an account last month. For example, here, time since most recent account opening is too short. They can make this code pop up on your score, this code 30, simply by doing that. Simply by resetting this, uh, the month reviewed, to a one. And guess what? You as a consumer, you'll never see that. You don't ever see this column. They don't show that on your consumer credit report. They only show you date opened. So they show you the date opened on your credit report. They show you this field, but this field's wrong. They already don't base your seasoning off of that. These are the games the banks play. And there's actually many examples of this down here. Even on this closed account, American Express removed their, their seasoning. This client had it, had it open since 2000 and he only got one month of seasoning on a closed account because the seasoning, even on your closed accounts, go into your overall, uh, uh, you know, the overall calculation of what your score is. And so the banks are gonna play these games to try and minimize your worthiness so that they can charge you more. And there's different parts of your credit that, that, that impact your score uh, with a different percentage. And so our team's gonna look at you as a whole and they're gonna say, how can we get this client's scores up the, to the highest possible given their current situation? And there's so many things that we can do. Now, one of the things that you need to, to know is you first need to look at your credit. So if you wanna look at what your credit is right now and get a snapshot of what's going on, you can go to fundandgrowcreditservices.com. And that's fundandgrowcreditservices.com. And then you can take a look at all three of your bureaus, but that's only a small tool to help people in the case that they need to take a look at what's going on in their credit. Now, in the case that someone has something bad on their credit, that's not something that Fund and Grow can help you with. So uh, bad credit is something that we would refer out and we would recommend that you go to this company, Kadem, K-A-Y-D-E-M, if you have negative items. Now, these guys have a really cool dispute process whereby they, instead of just disputing things by sending in a letter, like you know how a lot of these companies, you pay them an arm and a leg and then they send in a letter for you. <laughs> the same thing you really could have done. But of course, we do know that a lot of times they're gonna have it worded better and it's written by attorneys, et cetera, et cetera. But the cool thing about this particular company is that they don't just send in letters. They actually have taught us that there's four ways to dispute with the credit bureaus. And guys, take note of this, write this down. You can send in a letter to send in a dispute. You can call in and verbally give a dispute. And the people that are, that are behind the phone are trained to deal with irate clients. They can literally delete stuff right off your card. We've had clients call in and just get all their items that were negative that they needed to remove to get them deleted off of a phone call. And we've had that where, where, where Kadem, the company that we work with, that we refer clients to, where they've gotten everything removed to that same process. And so you can send in a letter, you can verbally call it, and the people that open the letters is a completely different department than the people that are answering the phones. And that's a completely different department than the geek department, the, the internet department, when you're initiating the dispute online. That's a third way of doing it. And the fourth way is through fax. Some of the bureaus allow disputes through fax. 
And so, again, it's like you're switching gears. It's a completely different department, different people. And what we can't get off through one department, it's amazing how uh, you can get it off through another department by using this multi-channel dispute process, not just doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results, but actually trying something different and um, getting different results because there's four different ways to dispute things off your credit. Tatum's really good at that. And we thank them for all the clients of ours that they've helped with because when we're sending clients over, we need that client to come back to get them funding because we guarantee it for our clients. So we need that fund, the, the, that credit repair company to really get those derogatories, those items deleted ASAP so that our clients can move forward and get the funding. So there's another way of getting funding that we haven't discussed yet on this call so far. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, open a new chapter. It's called Dun & Bradstreet, and we're gonna talk about another form of funding. So far, we've talked about unsecured business credit cards. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about, about non-recourse funding. And non-recourse funding is really the cream of the crop. And, and right here, you can see two of the office buildings that I've purchased and that I have not needed to use my credit. I didn't yet have to use uh, myself as a guarantee, as a guarantor. No one within my company had to be used as a guarantor. These buildings are bought on non-recourse funding, just like any person who goes through our program is eventually gonna be able to do by utilizing their Dun & Bradstreet non-recourse credit, which is their Paydex score. And so once you get good uh, Dun & Bradstreet, once you get a good Paydex score with Dun & Bradstreet, that's gonna open up a lot of doors with a whole nother type of funding. I mean, you guys don't really think that Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos are using business credit cards and personally guaranteeing things. They're not. They're using, uh, they're using corporate credit. And we're gonna teach you about corporate credit so that you can buy uh, office buildings or whatever it is, you know, a, a fleet of vehicles, whatever it is that you need for your company, corporate credit is definitely one of the great options to use. Now, one of the reasons why our team is so successful at getting super high amounts of this type of funding is because we do this process that we call negotiations. And we've pretty much pioneered this process. I don't know of any other companies that are doing this negotiation process. And what that process is, is after we have received our clients' power of attorney, which would give us a limited uh, uh, permission to work, to work on their credit, and to apply for them, and to, and to do this work for them, and so that gives us the, le the legal predicate and basis to be able to do this. Once we've received the power of attorney, we're then able to apply and negotiate and get do all of it for the client. So we are actually interacting with the bank on behalf of our clients. We're doing all the work for them. There's no way that someone who uh, you know owns a pizzeria or the person that owns the hair salon or the part-time uh, Bitcoin investor, there's no way that all of them know the best way to communicate with the banks, they don't. They're good at what they do. They're good at running their businesses and they're good at investing, but they aren't necessarily good at everything and they're not good at, at knowing exactly what's the best way to get funding. So our negotiators, we're taking incoming approvals that could be a 5,000 and getting it overturned to a 15 because they know how to talk to the negotiator. There's approvals we get that are at 15 and 20. We get them overturned to a $60,000 approval because we know how to talk to the, to the underwriters and we know how to properly and legally exemplify your business so that the underwriter can feel confident and they can approve you for a higher amount. And this is the way that the underwriting process within these banks work. It's based off of your personal credit and it's based off of your business credit score. And we are gonna build both of those to the maximum to get you the maximum amount of approval. And then once the credit's been granted, it reports to the EIN number, not to the personal credit. It reports to the EIN number. The only time it would show up on your personal credit is if you default for three months in a row. So it is personally guaranteed. So if you were to completely not pay the credit, then it will come back on you. And that's why, of course, we want to move clients up into using the non-recourse funding, which is that second form of funding that we spoke about. So here's some examples of credit cards coming in, $15,000 card, $20,000 card. Uh, here's more examples, $37,000 card, uh, $25,000 card. These We have these cards coming in all day. So we, here we have a client who in one batch, they received a $50,000, a $10,000, a $15,000, and a fifteen. dollars so that right there is a decent amount. What's that, 30, 40, uh, uh, 90,000 in funding? That, oh yeah, 90,000 in funding on four different business credit cards? Yeah, th th this, is, this is what we do, folks. And do you think this card started at a 50,000? No, it started at a 5,000, and then we got it built up. So Joe talks about how he's received 140,000 in credit and how it's been a rocket fuel for his business. And I'm not sure uh, which batch he's in, if that's his first or, or second batch, 
But either way, when you go back for your second batch or your third batch, one of the things that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to remove the inquiries from the business credit cards. So if we've applied for a business credit card for you and you've been approved for that business credit card, that is no longer a personal inquiry and you can get that removed completely legally. Why? Because they can't hold, a bank cannot hold a business inquiry against you personally. They're not legally allowed to. And so, so some inquiries are super easy to remove. For example, the inquiries created by us applying for business credit cards. We're not only uh, is that something that we're going to teach you how to do, that's gonna, a technology you're going to walk away with. You're going to know how to remove credit inquiries from now on. And that process of being able to remove credit inquiries allows us to continue the card stacking process over and over and over again to build up the aggregate amount of funding. So we talked about Kadem and how they can help you if you have derogatories on your, on your personal credit. They can also help you if you need inquiries removed. That's one of the things that they do. They've actually pioneered a process specific to removing inquiries. So now why should you trust us? I'm not sure if you're just tuning in now or if you've been on the, the webinar for the whole thing so far, but why should you trust us? Well, as you'll find out and you can Google us and you can see, there's a lot of big names in the industry that trust us with their students. And so we have a lot of students that or a lot of uh, uh, affiliates that we work with who their students are in real estate or are in a, a variety of different business entrepreneurial uh, on endeavors. And they trust us with their clients because we always come through. We want to work hard for our clients and do everything possible to get them the maximum amount of funding. And if we can't help you, then we're going to give you your money back. That's just, that's the end of the story. We are here to do legitimate business so that we can continue to grow just like all of these big names like Les Brown and so many others have, uh, have told their, their um, audiences about. And we are very proud to have those affiliates uh, you know, on board with us. And it, we, we encourage you to check us out. Go to the Better Business Bureau. You're gonna see that we have hundreds and hundreds. We have like over 800 uh, reviews on the Better Business Bureau, clients that have come to us and left us a positive review. It's literally 4.93 out of five star. Check us out on Trustpilot. Check us out on Sotellus or on Facebook or on Google. We have literally thousands or over a thousand reviews just on Google alone. And if you put it all together, we have thousands and thousands of reviews from happy clients that have gone through our process. And why am I saying that? I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that because essentially we're applying for a job at the moment. Right now we're applying. We would like you to hire us to get this for you. So it's important that I exemplify the different things that, that Funding Grow has done and our different accolades because we're, we're actually respectfully applying for a job right now with you guys. So that's why we don't mean to be braggadocious in any way, but we do need you to know our bona fides and our credentials. And so here we have another client who is talking specifically, Al's talking about his second batch. So he got 60,000 on his first batch and then now he's up to 125 on the second batch. And this is just the process, guys. This is the way that it works. When you're in our program, we're going to be putting you through multiple batches in order to build up to the aggregate amount of a quarter million. And we have clients that are getting above that, getting 300,000 plus. And all of that is possible because of every link of the chain, which is all the different departments within Funding Grow. And the way that all of them, how you are taken from intake to the applications process, to the negotiations process, to the inquiry removal, all of that where we can just build this amount of credit for you over and over and over. And this is something you could do. You could do if, if you did this full time. We do it full time and we're generating 19 to $20 million a month. Last month we got 21 million in funding. It's not quite our average yet because we haven't averaged above 20 million. We've, we've hit 21 million uh, last month and this month we're gonna probably be hitting around the same. And that's the amount of funding that we're generating for our clients. So that's the total amount of funding we're bringing in for all of our clients. And we'd like you to become part of that client pool receiving that type of funding. And so we have a free gift for everyone that's joined us so far. And um, so let's get into that. And we also have two bonuses. So the first of it is a partner upgrade. So generally our membership is a $4,000 cost and we're not anywhere close to that today. We got this Black Friday special that we're quite excited about, but we got these bonuses for you. So not only are you gonna get a partner upgrade, your guys are getting a buy one, get one. So we're doing a buy one, get one, and we're not even doing it at the full price of four grand. So a buy one, get one of four grand would be $8,000. And we're, you guys are gonna get an awesome hookup today because this is the lowest price that we do this throughout the entire year is today and today only, Black Friday. 
And this has been become a, a uh, an annual event for Fund and Grow, like many other companies. But what we found is this is the only time of the year that we're going to drop the price down this low. And we do it one time per year. And so the second bonus that we have is our Prosperity Pulse newsletter. And so we're going to give everyone access to the entire newsletter database at no charge. And this is a $50 per month a, a premium membership that all of our clients are involved with. And in this particular, uh, uh, in the Prosperity Pulse, in the newsletter, what we do is we show how we built Fund & Grow to where Fund & Grow is today. And so Fund & Grow is now doing millions of dollars in revenue every month. We're generating uh, tens of millions in funding every month. And we went from being a very small company to a very large company. And we're, we're, we're getting ready to push 100 employees. And so what we do is we detailed how Fund & Grow built everything from, from our marketing to our teams to how we get all of our negotiators to work together to how we create cohesion and love within the team and within the office. All of that is covered in our newsletter. And we highly recommend that you stay subscribed to the newsletter. And especially in your first month where you get it for free, look at all of our past articles so you can start to determine how is it that you can do what Fund & Grow has done and go from 100000 a year in revenue to $20 million a year in revenue. So what's all included in the Fund & Grow membership, as we've discussed so far, is the 250000 of funding, the fact that we're going to do it for you, which is the one-on-one -on -one coaching. Uh, we're going to set up the entity for you that's going to match your years of industry experience. The How to utilize the credit as cash. How to get the funding off. How to, If you're buying real estate, how to do that. How to get the, 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 the funding off of a business credit card. So the, the fact that it's a credit card is not going to be a problem. We're going to show you how to access it like cash. And everything else that we've talked about, which is the credit co coaching package and the corporate credit. And we say 100000 in DMB corporate credit, but remember... We've bought buildings that were, the, the building that we're in right now is over a million dollars that we bought on corporate credit. And if we can do it, you can do it too. Plus, we have the extra two bonuses that, that we spoke about, which is the Prosperity Pulse newsletter and the $4,000 partner upgrade. So all of that is today. And by now, you can see that this is something that we're really good at. You can see that this is something that we do all day long. We have a team of 14, 15 people just in negotiations. We have a team that, uh, of salespeople. We have a team of account managers and uh, uh, client relations people. And all of that, we're about 70 people. We're 65 to 70 people. We're, and, and, and we're constantly hiring. We're going to be 100 people before you know it. And so this is something that you can see we are very good at. Um, we're, we're constantly growing. We have testimonials coming in like you wouldn't believe. Now, do we have some clients that have said some, some, some mean things about us? We're dealing with people's personal credit and their funding and their money. And so obviously sometimes people can be a little bit tense and touchy, uh, but suffice it to say that you'll see that we stand behind our word. We stand behind our product and we want to get you a lot of funding. So today we're bringing this to you at the lowest price of the year, $32.97. And in order to take advantage of this offer, browse to fundandgrow.com with a forward slash. Now, it's really important that you put in the forward slash save 700. Because otherwise, if you go directly to fundandgrow.com, you're not going to get the bonuses and it's going to charge you the full four grand. So go to seven, save 700, fundandgrow.com forward slash save 700 and you will be able to gain access to the 3297 special. And that's gonna cover not just you, but your business partner as well. This is a buy one, get one, folks. So this is not just gonna cover you. This is, and you don't have to pay anything extra for the buy one, for the, for the, for the BOGO. You don't have to pay anything extra. 3297 will cover partner A and partner B. Partner A could be your husband, wife, could be your business partner, could be your brother, sister, could be a friend that is working together with you. Um, they it can even have a separate login for them. Either way, it doesn't matter. You're going to get a secondary for free, for free. So you might as well add somebody on to that. You could even split the cost with them. We have clients doing that all the time at fundandgrow.com forward slash save 700. Now, for those who want to call in, we do, you can call us. You can call us at 800-996-0270. And again, it's 800 996 0270. And again, this is the only time of the year that we drop down by $700. And so if you've hit this part of the website, then you're at the payment page. Now you could either pay the one-time fee of $32.97, or you could pay $17.74 for two months. Now notice that is a bit more than $32.97 because you're paying payments as two payments, or you could pay three payments of $12.66. And again, this is a little bit more than $32.97 because you're paying it in payments 
That's the whole point of financing, guys. That's the way that it works. So if you would like to get started for a thousand and change, twelve sixty six, you can get started with three payments of twelve sixty six. Payment number one today, second payment in thirty days, the last payment thirty days from then. And the the same is true with the with the two pay. You pay seventeen seventy four today, and then the, and then you pay seventeen seventy four thirty days from now. And that way you can pay in payments. Either way, you're going to get started with the full program. Even if you decide to use the payments, you're going to get access to the entire program right away. So that's at fundandgrow.com forward slash save 700. So here we have Brenda exemplifying her her uh, journey with Fund and Grow and how she's received 128000 And this she just finished her second batch. So if she's at 128000 on her second batch, then she probably started with a limited profile and now she's got access to a lot of credit. And not only does she have access to a lot of credit, but guess what? Where's her credit score is going to be? Super high. And so the byproduct, the default byproduct of going through our program is that you will have really high personal credit scores and we're not going to even uh, request, we, we don't want you to lean on your personal. We don't want you to, we want you to use business business credit. We want you to use business credit cards and other types of business loans. You're going to be able to get access to a more premium form of funding once you get these business credit cards. So within the membership, we're of course going to be positioning you for applications and doing the negotiations. And if you need help with ways to utilize the funding, that's also another thing that we can help you with. So most of the clients are going to receive funding within 30 to 45 days. There are some clients that will, that are just ready to go right away, and they they're literally receiving funding in the second week of working with us. It's not all the time, of course. It's probably going to be pretty rare. Most of the time, there's things that we can do for your credit that have, again have nothing to do with credit repair, but that have to do with boosting the ratios, like we talked about earlier. And once we uh, tweak these ratios on your scores, and we m- uh, make sure that nothing's ill reporting and and tweaking your score in a negative way, then we can move forward and apply. Now, sometimes it takes 30 days for that. When you sign up, we make some changes on your report. It takes 30 days to update that with the credit bureaus. Then we can start the application process. And we don't want to walk uphill with a broken leg. So we do want to fix those issues prior to applying at four or five places. Because otherwise, we're just establishing with those accounts that you have that problem. We want to fix the problem before we apply, before they are aware that you have that problem. That way it's not on the credit report when we apply and then we're just able to get you approvals. And that's one of the ways that we're able to get the most amount of funding. So we have clients that are using this type of funding for all forms of different businesses, from from, from doing network marketing to doing online e-commerce. We even have people that are that are in uh, real estate, a lot of fix and flips and, and uh, uh, wholesaling. We have a lot of people that are just doing basic contracting. And we even have people that are doing money lending. So there's all types of things. Of course, branding and marketing, that's huge. We have so many clients that will use the credit card simply for their pay-per-click campaigns. You know, you get $100,000, $200,000 of funding. How, you know, a lot of companies are spending fifty dollars to $100,000 a month on their marketing. And so the, the business credit card is a, is a great place to place that, that expense while you're earning cash back on it. So you're spending, and then you get one and a half cash back on everything that you're spending. You might as well do it that way. So I'm gonna, I would like to play you a, a short clip, a short 40-second uh, clip from one of our affiliates, Nick Perry. And he details how he went from 40000 a month to over 400000 a month from gaining access to funding. Now, of course... I don't know if he's doing that every single month, but I do know that once he gained access, once he got access to funding, he was able to do a lot more. He was able to buy, sell, he was able to flip more properties, and as an educator, he was even able to help more of his students. And so with us being a company that wants to educate and help our students, we want to also uh, uh, share Nick's experience. And then after that, I'm going to have our chief operations officer, Jason Alonzo, come on. And he's, he's our director of operations. He is uh, in charge of all the different departments within the building uh, that are getting access to funding, the affiliate relations, or I'm sorry, the client relations, the negotiators. Jason is, uh, he, he's, he's actually helped pioneer the process in how we do what we do. So I'm going to have Jason come on after I play you this short clip so that you can hear from the operations side 
And you can hear, you know, from the from the negotiation side, he's going to tell you a little bit about the negotiations team and the client relations people and the, the fund that we have here uh, competing to see who can get the most credit for their client. Because we a lot of our uh, our employees are actually paid based off of their the gains that they get for the client. So of course they get they get like a base rate, but then depending on what they negotiate for the client is how they get their pay. It's kind of like a sales position to negotiators. So these guys are only making money if they get money for you. So Jason's gonna come on after that and talk a little bit about how that process works. In the meantime, let's go ahead and listen to uh, Nick Perry. So yeah, last month and you know, as they're recording right now, it's uh, uh, April 14th, 2020. March was a record month for us. We did just over 400, so now, yeah. That extra revenue from a few years ago. Correct, I mean, you know, without, without having that liquidity, and runway, mm -hmm. it would have been it would have been a real grind to make that happen. That's awesome. After coming back. Awesome guys. Okay, sorry. Uh, I think I think the, the end of that video got cut off a little bit, but here we have, as promised, we have Jason on, and so Jason is going to go ahead and take it from here, and we're well, let's go ahead and get this fixed right here real quick but Jason's gonna go ahead and take it away from here and uh, and uh, help everyone understand the uh, the funding growth process even better sorry guys we're not we're not uh, technological <laughs> geniuses so we had a little no uh, we're tech good. issue we're good we're good I think we're good to go Ari I appreciate it I'm so excited to talk to you guys today uh, talk about all the operations uh, how we were able to get Nick Perry over a half a million dollars now. Uh, we're, we're so excited about that. We're so excited to see Nick's journey among everybody else. We've, we've had plenty of clients that have, that have had the success like Nick. Um, Nick has been with us for about three memberships. So this isn't just a membership that it, it's 12 months, then you're done. You know, we continuously have clients come back and work with us over and over and over again so that we can continue to build the capital on their business side. So we're definitely excited about it. My goal today is to answer any questions that, that you may have. You know, what were you hoping to learn today? Uh, were you hoping to learn how to start up, about your credit, about what it takes to get business credit? Whatever the question is that you may have, go ahead and send them through the question uh, area, whether you're on YouTube, go to webinar, wherever you're at. Let me know so I can help you out and answer some of your questions. Before I get started, I, I want to go through and answer some questions that were sent in before. Um, just give me just one second, looking through. Uh, there was a question, can I transfer some already spent business related expenses to the line to release from personal expenses? Absolutely, we have clients do that all the time. Uh, we're, we're really excited to see when, when clients come to us and they have a 700 score or even the high sixes, the main reason why their scores are, are lower are because of the debt that is on their personal reports. And, and nine, nine times out of 10, they let us know because they're using their personal credit to fund their business. So what we do is we help them with a consolidation loan. We get some of that stuff off of the personal report onto one loan. Then we go after business credit. Once we get the business credit, we teach them how to balance transfer it over to the business side, which immediately brings their personal scores up, but it doesn't affect, the business credit doesn't affect the personal. So they can max out their business side and it's keeping their personal scores at about 800. So absolutely, that is definitely possible. Um, uh, there was a question when, when Ari was talking about the credit reports. Uh, why would the bank knowingly play such games? How does it benefit to intentionally make your score lower? A lot of times it's not intentional. They're not reporting it correctly. There's an error in the system. So whatever the bank sends over to the credit bureau, the credit bureau is going to, <clears throat> excuse me, they're going to display that on the report. People make mistakes, systems make mistakes. That's what we're here to catch those mistakes so that they don't hurt you. So a lot of the times it's not intentional, um, but it does happen. 
Uh, what is the best credentials needed to get up to 250000 in the first round? I'll go over that a little bit later, but I do want to answer your question very quickly. The credit score isn't everything, but we do look for about a 720 or over on, on that side. But a lot of it is having each individual revolving account, which is all your credit cards and things like that, below 30 to 35 percent on your personal side. We do want to have some revolving accounts on there that are seasoned for over two years. So that means that they need to be open for two years. Having a mixture of installment loans, which are mortgages, auto loans, things of that nature. And then also your relationships with the lenders. Who do you bank with? There's a lot of things that we can play off of there uh, to get you the business credit. The other thing about that on your revolving account, your credit cards, is how high are your limits? If you've got limits that are down into the you know, $2,000 range, $1,000 range, we're going to look to establish something else on your personal report to really boost your, your lendability position. So if you only have $1,000, uh, your highest limit on your personal, uh, personal credit report is $1,000, the banks are going to look at that and they're going to wonder if they can actually lend you ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. Are you going to be able to manage it? Because on your personal side, you're only able to manage $1,000. Are they comfortable lending to 20,000? We're going to get you there. We're going to get you in the best lendable position before we move you forward with business funding. That's our goal. Our goal is to get you up to that $250,000, but also get your personal credit to where it needs to be in the 800 club. So the only thing that you have to use it for is if you go for a personal mortgage or an auto loan or anything like that, but that's going to give you the lowest interest rates from that lender. Uh, has anyone received up to 250,000 or has anybody received 250,000 on the first round? Yes, I have seen that. It doesn't happen all the time, um, but that person was in great shape. They actually listened to us and removed some accounts, some authorized user accounts, paid some accounts down, removed some inquiries, and then they went into funding and they were able to get in there. I believe they got about 260,000 or 280,000 in one round of funding. So it's definitely possible. Uh, Daniel Allman, I love this comment. I have sent clients to Fund and Grow for over 10 years. In the last year, Fund and Grow has obtained over 1.7 million for my referred clients. They are awesome. Daniel, thank you. Uh, we, we, everything that's here is 100% truthful. All of the reviews that you see online, 100% truthful. We know what it takes to get the funding. We know what it takes to get us there. So let's start moving on a little bit. I know the questions are popping in. I'll jump right back into this in just a little bit. Um, but I want to talk about the funding journey. Uh, hopefully a lot of you are signing up with us today. I kind of want to go through what to expect over the 12 months and the departments that you're going to deal with and how our customer service is and, and give some props to some people out there. But this is the basic journey that you're going to flow, that you're going to go through starting here, obviously, and then working your way around. So th the day that you sign up, you sign up today, take advantage of the discount, take advantage of our, of our Black Friday sale. You're going to get welcome to Fund and Grow. So you're going to get an email. A lot of our communication, especially in the beginning, is done via email. So keep an eye on the email that you use to sign up. So if you talk to one of our business development um, managers, if you signed up through them, or if you sign up through the link, uh, make sure that you keep an eye on the email that you use to sign up because you're going to get a link in the, mail, in the email that's going to allow you to access access your client portal. Now there you're going to start to submit the necessary information. When you get the link to access your client portal, you're going to be asked to reset your password and you're going to be asked to log in there. So go ahead and do that. Follow the steps. But then once you get in, you're going to need to start submitting your personal and your business information. All of this information needs to be filled out correctly so that we can start moving forward with your process. The longer it takes for you to fill this information out, the longer it's going to take you to get funding. We want to get you funding as quickly as possible. You're signing up with us to get you funding as quickly as possible. So as soon as you sign up, 
go ahead and, and access your portal and start to fill out the necessary information like your personal, your business, your home address, your financial information. And it doesn't have to be exact. Give us a guesstimate, but get it as close as you possibly can, especially for the finances. Once you filled all of that out, you're going to be asked to sign three documents. The documents, one is, is the power of attorney. The power of attorney allows us to negotiate on your behalf, to apply on your behalf. It is a limited power of attorney. We're going to do nothing but submit applications and negotiate on your behalf. The second one is the credit authorization. That one allows us to pull your credit. All the credit uh, that, that Fund & Grow pulls that we pull are soft inquiries not a hard inquiry. That's the difference. A soft inquiry isn't going to affect your score or even show up on your personal credit report. A hard inquiry is when you actually apply for a loan or a credit card or anything like that. The bank, the lender, they pull your personal credit report and actually submit a hard inquiry. Fund and Grow does not do that. The third one is our terms of service that you're going to need to read and, and sign as well. So once you fill out that information, one of our credit experts is going to go ahead and review your personal credit profile. They're going to check your personal reports. They're going to make sure that everything is in order. If there's anything that needs to be fixed, they're going to send you a link to schedule a call with one of our consultants. That call, they're going to go over everything that you need to get into the best lendable position. The lendable position is what matters the most when we go into funding. We don't want to apply just to apply. It doesn't make sense. We want you to get the most out of your 12 months. So we want you to be able to apply with round one at the best possible position that you can be in. And we're going to make sure that you're there. But here's the big thing. You have to follow our recommendations. I can't tell you how many times we get clients that come in and they've got 650 scores and they say, no, I want to apply now. I want to apply now. We're not going to tell them no, but we are going to tell them it's not a good idea. You're going to see limited results. We need to do this, this, and this before you can move forward. They continue to push forward and then we end up with poor results. So then we have to go back and we have to restart and, and start from scratch and get everything to where they need to be. Then they start to understand that, yeah, maybe I should start to listen to these guys. We really do know what it takes to get the business credit. So any kind of uh, advice that we give you and, and tell you and show you how to do it, we'll walk you through the whole process. We're going to hold your hand the whole way through and make sure that you are in the best lendable position to move forward. Once we get there, that's when the fun begins. That's when we're going to st start to submit applications and negotiations. I see a ton of questions coming through. I appreciate it. Give me just a little bit. Let me finish this one and I'll jump right back into it. Um, but the applications and negotiations, once you're in the best position possible to move forward, you're going to get an email with a date that your account manager is going to reach out to you. We are not going to apply for anything until the account manager speaks with you. That is going to be on the day of applications. The account manager is going to go over what lenders we're going to, what your round's going to look like, what your batch is going to look like, whether we're going for all business, do we need to do a little bit of mix between personal and business to boost your personal report, or if you're just starting out with personal credit, do we need to go only personal? Our main focus is business credit. We want to go for only business credit, but there are times and there are situations where we do need to build somebody's personal credit report to get them in that lendable position, right? We just talked about it. That is included in this step, some of it, you know, but if you've got if you've got a lot of inquiries and you've got high debt on your personal or late payments, collections, charge-offs, bankruptcies, things like that, there are different avenues that we're going to take you down to get you in to step six where we can apply and negotiate. Once we get there, the day comes of your applications and negotiations. The account manager is going to call you. They're going to walk you through what to do over the next 30 to 45 days. This process here does take 30 to 45 days. So we submit applications. The account managers are going to follow up with you every week. 
once a week they're going to give you an update of okay these ones are approved here we're going for hire here uh, this one was initially declined I'm working with the underwriter to get this thing approved so on so forth whatever's happening the account manager is going to keep you informed so that you're aware of what's going on you know when when cards are going to show up in the mail if you're going to get a letter in the mail that's the easy part you just sit back and you relax and you wait for the cards to come in the mail once the cards come in the mail once the letters come in the mail no matter what send those over to your account manager so that we can use it to access your port your profile with the lender so we can continuously get higher and higher amounts of funding all right let's jump back in here and answer some questions really quick and then i'll jump into number seven um, I have good credit, but some lines have more than 30%. Will I not qualify unless this is balanced? It all depends. And, and that, that question came from Debbie. Debbie, it all depends. We have to look at your whole profile because it isn't the overall utilization, but there are some, some things that we can do to get that account down that you have over 30%. We can get those down, we can balance transfer, we can get you a consolidation loan. Some of them, if they're just a little bit over 30%, we can move forward as is. Um, but we do wanna look at your personal profile first and, and then go from there. But we can give you different tips and tricks to pay those accounts down right at the last minute so that they'll reflect on the next reporting date. So if you don't know, the banks, they only report to the credit bureaus once a month and it's not on the due date. A lot of people get confused there saying, okay, as long as I pay this by the due date, the next month it's going to reflect to where the balance is. That's not so true. It's not true all the time. A lot of them, if the due date is today, the, the reporting date could be a week, a week ago, not after, before. So we always teach our clients to pay the, the, um, the account down before the reporting date, not on the due date. It makes a world of difference. I'm not sure why the banks do it, but they want to, one, one thing that they definitely do it for is they want to see how you're managing the accounts. If you're just making minimum payments when the due date is, it's kind of risky to them. They want to make sure that you're able to pay this, um, this back as quickly as possible, higher than the minimum payment. So Debbie, to answer your question really quick, it's not going to, to affect you too much. We'll show you how to get those things paid down pretty quick. Uh, what if, what if it is a new entity you want, you have excellent credit, but want to start a new real estate entity for business credit. I have 10 years plus real estate experience. New entities, we create new entities for clients all the time, but we can also create sole proprietorships. Uh, Ari was talking about it. If you have 10 years of experience in, in real estate, we could set up a sole proprietorship or depending on how old your LLC is, we can definitely use this. And I'm answering Sim Green's question right now. It all depends on your situation. If you've got excellent credit, you are going to be able to get the funding that you're looking for. If we have to set up a sole proprietorship, we can set it up and then you can use that funds, those funds, that capital to fund your LLC or your corporation, whatever your entity is. That is not a problem whatsoever. If you're coming to us and you do not have a business entity whatsoever, we'll set that up for you. That's not a problem. We're going to fill out the documents. We're going to send them over to you. We're going to tell you exactly what you need to do. The only thing that you're going to be responsible for there is the state filing fees. They differ between the, they differ on the state that you're currently residing in. Excuse me. I was tongue tied there for a second. Um, how to get non-recourse funding. Great question, Maria. That is all included in our membership. We have a DIY program that goes over the non-recourse corporate credit and it breaks it down step by step by step that allows you to build your, your, your business credit profile even more and it shows your utilization and how your business is active and it gives the bank something to look out as well when you're going for the bigger lines on the business side. But we have a do-it-yourself program that we'll walk you through as well. Um, JL, you're talking to me in all caps. 
Hopefully you're not yelling at me. Are there some types of businesses that are looked at negatively by the banks? Eh, you're not yelling at me. Maybe yelling at the banks. <laughs> um, no, I mean some. Uh, cannabis right now, the banks don't really like to see that. Anything tied to money, the banks don't really like to see that. Years ago, it was real estate, but now real estate is booming. A lot of our clients coming in through, coming into us really love real estate. They're seeing a lot of funding. Look at Nick Perry. He was in real estate or is in real estate. He was able to get the funding. So many clients are coming to us in real estate, but the biggest ones are, are finances and, and cannabis right now. But if you're looking to use one of those businesses, could set you up with a sole proprietorship, which you could use the funding to fund that, that business. But you just got to be careful with the entity name and the industry that you're in. Uh, can this program be used by someone in the UK? who is setting up a U.S.-based LLC for real estate. Uh, Andre, as long as you have a U.S. Social Security number, a U.S. home address, and a U.S. business, we're good. We can go ahead and move forward. If you do not currently live in the U.S., we wouldn't be able to help you at this time. I apologize about that. Um, answer a couple more, and then I'll continue to move on. You guys are asking a lot of great questions. Uh, I'm interested in cash credit only. Two questions. How do I transfer cash from credit card in business cards to business transactions or personal account? How much percentage of the 150, 250K is the cash credit, not vendor credit? Second question. The vendor credit, you can get up to $100,000. That's different. The business credit you can get up to $250,000 or more that can all be used like cash. Now listen very closely, very closely. We're not telling you to pull cash off of these cards, right? We're talking about a third party that we're going to send you to that is going to charge 2.85% to wire money over. So if you're, if you're trying to close on a deal on a real estate deal, that you want to buy as cash, we'll actually send you over to, to plastic and they'll be able to wire money over to the closing attorney, the escrow account as a cash deal. So you're actually wiring money over to them, showing them the invoice and they're only going to charge you 2.85%. So you're not actually pulling cash off. You're able to wire money over. So it, it I, sorry if I pronounce this wrong, but PL, it all depends on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to, to pay a contractor or um, pay your mortgage or, or whatever it is that you're trying to do, you can use these funds for anything without getting charged the cash advance fee from the lender, which is anywhere between 29, 28, 29, 30 percent, and it knocks out that zero percent. So this is the workaround using plastic. It's very, very key to do that. And that's why business credit is the smartest way to get the funding. Uh, one round of funding is about six months or is the entire 12 months. No, we go after multiple rounds of funding. Um, it, it, usually our clients get between two to three, but if they follow our recommendations, they can get those rounds of funding. Now, if we go in through a round of funding and you disappear off the planet, we're not going to be able to maximize your, your program. We're going to continue to follow up with you as much as we can. But if you disappear, we're not going to be able to follow up with you as much and be, be able to get you that amount of funding. So one round of funding, like I said, takes about 30 to 45 days. This process here, step seven, takes about three to four months. All right, so once you get the funding, you're gonna wanna start to utilize that credit and, and make per purchases on it, start to pay them down in chunk payments, usually about two to three times the minimum payment. That is very, very important, but you also want to remove the, the inquiries as well. We're going to send you a credit coaching package, or we're going to get you in touch with Kadem Credit Help, who, who Ari was speaking about earlier. The credit coaching package is going to walk you through the entire process. There's actually draft letters in there that we use. 
our, our clients use to, to remove the inquiries. Fund and Grow will not remove inquiries for you. We can't do that, but we're gonna give you the, um, the tools to be able to do so yourself. But utilize the funding and remove the inquiries, and then we're gonna review the lendability position again, and then we're gonna go after more rounds of funding. So between here, this step, and this step, we're going three to four months. So if you look at that, if you're every four months, four, eight, 12, you should be able to get three rounds of funding in there, right? You have to follow our steps and our processes to be able to get those rounds of funding. Every round of funding, depending on how you utilize the funding, which is very important, and how you make payments, you should get more and more and more credit at 0%. Then we put in the card stacking process. That's when we take the cards from the previous round and we move the credit limits into the new round cards. So now you've got two cards or one card with both credit limits at a new 0% interest. Does that make sense? So, so basically to break that down really quick for you is if you get a 10K card in round one and then round two, we're able to get a $20,000 card because you used it really good. You started making chunk payments every time. I know it's 0%, but you want to build that relationship with the, with the lender. They're showing you that you're good. What we'll do is we'll move this 10K over. So now you have one card at $30,000 with new 0%. So now this card, we can go ahead and cancel out. So you're not carrying 60 cards with you. You only have one card at 30K with new 0%. That's the card stacking process. That's what we're really trying to do. Uh, another question is, hey guys, my question is, I'm currently building up my personal credit. My credit score is in the 640s. I just got approved for a $300 Macy's credit card and I have some trade lines in my report that have stopped reporting. I don't have any other credit cards in my report. Can I still sign, sign in? Sorry, and I'm gaining to business credit that I need. Um, uh, Zim, Zimri, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't pronounce that correctly, but the answer is yes. We can technically help anybody. Now, the, the thing is, you're, if you're in that position, you're not gonna be able to get funding right away business funding. So in your position there, we would need to really build your personal reports and then go into the business funding. That's why it's a step-by-step -step process. Now the 12 months, that's going to begin when we start to apply for business funding. So if we need to build your personal or if you need credit repair or anything like that to build your lendability position, we're not going to start your 12 months until you start to get the business funding. So if you're sitting back right now and you're, oh, I don't know if this is right for me. My credit's not the best. Um, just not, I just don't know. I don't think this is the right time. It's absolutely the right time. So you can take advantage of the big discount that we're offering for Black Friday, right? But now's the time to get started on fixing your position. If you're not fixing your position now, when are you going to start? When are you going to start thinking about fixing your personal credit but then also working towards your goal. Everybody's goal that's probably listening to this call right now is financial freedom. Financial freedom is going to come with hard work and dedication, but you've got to invest in yourself to be able to get to the goals that you need to be. The first thing you need to do as far as starting your business and making sure that you have the capital available is don't use your personal capital, but start fixing your personal credit so that you can use other people's money, like Ari mentioned before, to start to grow, excuse me, start to grow and scale your business to where you want it to be. So to answer your question, yes, you can still sign up today. We, we're, there's just gonna be some work to get you to where you need to be to get the business funding. Um, can we be, can this be done with a personal CPN or does it have to be done with a social security number? Uh, we definitely need to use the social security number, uh, for this one. Um, it is tied to your social, so it is personally guaranteed, but it does not show up on your personal credit report. 
Um, for past Fund and Grow clients, should we still use? Yes, go ahead, Ray, go ahead and use uh, fundandgrow.com forward slash save 700 to sign up. That's perfect. Thanks, Ray. Uh, is the price still the same for six months from six months ago? Also, is the second person free? Tiblets, this is the the Black Friday deal that you're going to get. We're offering $700 off. We do this once a year. It is going to end today. So if you're not able to sign up today, you're going to lose the discount. We're looking at it today. We need to get all of this out here. That's why I'm going to stay on here as long as it takes to answer all of your questions before moving on with the, with the slideshow, with the presentation, with the call. Answer all your questions. Try and get you guys the most information that I possibly can. Uh, is the price still the same from six months ago? Yeah, our price hasn't changed. As the world goes around, you never know what's going to happen to our price. But right now, you're getting the best bang for your buck at $3,297, $3,297. I have terrible... Kadem is removing inquiries for me now. Should I apply for this offer now or wait until they're done? Ray, sign up now. Uh, it's the best time to do it. Get your uh, get your get your discount. Credit bureaus. Are there any additional fees paid other than the initial membership fee? Pamela, we look at all three credit bureaus. The banks they'll pull one. Some of them pull two. Some of them pull all three. But we want to make sure that we're looking at all three credit bureaus, looking at mortgage reports, mortgage level reports, so that we know what needs to be done to get you in the best lendable position. Are there any additional fees paid other than the initial membership fee? No, that is it. The newsletter subscription, the first month is free. There is a $50, $50 fee after that for the newsletter. Um, but, you know, you review that, see what you like, and, and then you can, you can use that as you, as you please. Um, but the initial membership cost today, today is $32.97. You will not owe us another dime after that. Uh, if my existing inquiries are older than six months, should I continue with inquiry removal process or am I ready to move forward? Ray, you're ready to move forward. We want to see those inquiries seasoned at least six months, but it also depends on how many you have total. Uh, but once they're seasoned six months, you should be in pretty good shape. Uh, we got a question from YouTube. Uh, Rick Smith. If we need to go through Kadem first, does that count towards the 12-month period? No, it doesn't, or Rick. Uh, just answered that a little bit ago. Uh, sorry, just getting to your question now. Another question from YouTube. Is one of the recommendations for being in the best lendable position usually having a client wait until any of their primary credit cards age? Yes, absolutely, it does. It's very important. You do not want to apply for new credit if you have a new credit card or revolving account open for less than six months. The banks want to see pay history, just like I was talking here. Now it's different from the business. If you have a new business account, we need to wait like three or four months. Personal, you need to wait six months to be able to move forward. But the beauty about that is you can work on the corporate credit, the non-recourse corporate credit program while you're waiting for that to season. We can tell you what else needs to be fixed. There's so much information that you are going to learn from this program. It doesn't make sense not to start. So we can walk you through all of that, all of those uh, issues that you're having. Uh, if you don't have credit, and use someone to add you to their credit card to increase score, but you don't have personal credit account open in your personal one. You're most likely talking about an authorized user account. A lot of people do have authorized user accounts to boost their score. It's a great thing to use. Um, you are not liable for that account, but what we, what we would want to do is start to build your personal credit a little bit, get some accounts for you so that you can have sole responsibility of an individual account. So when we do go for business credit, we're going to go ahead and, and, and get the highest amounts. Now, allow us to build your personal credit too, because we know what it takes. We're not going to go in and max we're not going to submit 18 different applications for personal. We're going to do about three, two, three, maybe even four applications to get you the accounts that we need. We know what banks to go to to get you those high limits on the personal side. We still negotiate on your behalf. We're going to set your personal reports up to where you don't have to use them for credit cards again.
You need to use them for the big things like the mortgages and the auto loans and things like that. But Juan, go ahead, sign up. We can help you build your personal credit, no problem. Um, again, the time frame doesn't start until you get business credit anyway. So you're basically getting that on the house. Uh, Michael asked, I'm trying to buy a quad and house hack for a year, getting pre-approved now based on my 755 personal score. Will starting with you impact my approval for the mortgage on this deal? It all depends on when you're when you're going to close, Michael. It's uh, we don't want to apply for business credit while you're in the middle of closing on a mortgage. But like I said, you can start working on that corporate credit program and start to build your business profile before we go for business, because then the banks can actually look at your personal credit and then they can also look at your your business credit profile as well and be able to make a more educated um, approval on what they're able to lend to you. Um, so it, we wouldn't apply for business until you were done, but there's so many different things that you can do while you're closing on that, on that property, which shouldn't take you that long to do anyway. Um, all right, let's start moving on a little bit and then I will come back and answer some more of your questions. If you have any more questions, please send them through. Uh, I'll jump back in and, and start to, to answer questions for you. So uh, we go through that next round. We already went through that. Then we're going to repeat this process for 12 months. Kind of went over that. Again, your, your, your membership is a 12-month program. We're going to get you as much funding as we possibly can, up to 250000 As you've seen before, we have, some, we have some people that have gotten over that. But that's usually the average is, is right around 200, 250,000 for a lot of our clients. As you can see here, uh, Serge was able to get 74,000 from four cards and was able to use plastic as a cash down payment to purchase the property. And they only charge that, well, this, this price changed a little bit. So it's 2.85% now instead of two and a half. It was two and a half. Plastic raised their prices a little bit, so now we are at 2.8%. At but right here is a review that's showing using plastic actually works. So last chance to save. We already talked about this. Go to the website down here on the bottom, fundandgrow.com forward slash save 700. Get started now. Allow us to start working with you and get you on your way to uh, growing and scaling your business the way that you dreamed of doing. Plastic. This is what I was talking about. They're charging 2.85% to send a wire transfer over and closing on cash deals. Uh, there are some things that you are limited to here, but usually anything that you're looking for is a business expense. As long as you're paying another business, you're able to do it. You're not able to pay yourself here. You're not able to pay a family member here. It has to be business to business. You're going to need an invoice. You're going to need something uh, that's showing that this is a business to business transaction. Do not try to pay your own business. Do not try to pay a family member. Do not try to pay somebody else. They have to have a business that is doing a service for you or you're trying to purchase a property or something like that. It has to be business to business. What you do when you come to us, we're gonna get you taken care of. We're gonna send you over to Plastic. Plastic actually has a team that deals with our clients so they know what you're looking for. They know the type of credit that you're looking for. You tell them what they need to do or what you're looking to do. They're gonna show you what you need to do there. Very simple process. The wires usually send in three to four business days. Actually, it's two to three business days. Checks can take somewhere into the, the three to four to five day range if you do need to send a check to a contractor. Uh, here's another uh, review from Bold Hill. Was able to obtain 79,000. Here's another one from Prime Investments, 170,000 um, on their second round of funding. So as you can see, the ranges vary a little bit, but it all depends on their personal reports and, and where they're at where they're at on their personal, what their relationships are with the lenders, what their balances are, um, how many revolving accounts, things like that. So this is this slide that Ari had up before, but it's something that I really pride myself on and I know our team prides themselves on it. 
is the five star customer service. We really, really push to get this here. Our client relations team out there, they're the ones that take all of our inbound phone calls once you're a client. They're able to help you any step of the way and they're great at it. They're very nice people. They're gonna do whatever they possibly can to, to ease your mind if you're, if you're a little frustrated about something, uh, about you know where you're at in the membership, what's going on. Be nice to them, but voice your concern because we're gonna take care of that concern, I promise you. If your concerns aren't being satisfied, reach out to me, I'll make sure that we get them taken care of. I pride myself on this. Every single person here prides themselves on this customer service, our client relations team, like I said, they answer all of our, all of the phone calls that are coming in. They can help you no matter what step of the process you're in. So it doesn't matter if it's your first day or if it's your last day, they are trained and they are very skilled at helping you at any position, any position that, that, that you're in, in this membership, they're going to be able to answer your questions for you. And that's why we have these averages. All of them, 4.9, 4.93, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9. That's what it's all about. You're not gonna be able to find other companies that are, that are out there, maybe you can, but there's not very many of them that have the averages that we have. But that's because we, stri we, we focus on this every day, every single day, but we have department meetings every two weeks. And I'm getting a little passionate about it, so I'm going to try and calm down a little bit. But every two weeks, we have meetings where we really go into this and we stress customer service. What can we do? What are the situations that you ran into? Okay, how can you handle that situation a little bit better? What can you do better the next time? And we learn from those, those situations and we learn from our clients who do voice some concerns, if there are any. The concerns have dropped a little bit. We bettered our customer service. We bettered our call queues, our phone systems, the ways to communicate with us. We have a chat feature now that you can use, whether you're signed into the portal or you're on our main website. We have all of that stuff available. Our emails are being returned quickly. So we're doing our best to get back to you as quickly as possible to answer any questions that you have. But the reviews tell it all. The five-star service, the 4.9 average, it says it all. Let's go ahead and get back in. Uh, Corey has asked, do you seek business credit from credit union letters, lenders? Sometimes, Corey, that they're not our, our main choice because there are some hoops to jump around and sometimes it does force the client to go into the credit union. But if you have a good relationship with them, Corey, let us know. We can apply anywhere. Uh, just may, we may need you to go into the, um, to the branch to finish some paperwork. Funding Grow is not going to sign anything for you. We just negotiate and, and apply over the phone um, and, and talk to the underwriters that way. So if you do have a credit union that, that you bank with or you have a relationship with, we can negotiate over the phone, but to finalize the application, you're going to need to sign some paperwork and go in there. Uh, Corey, uh, you asked the same question a few times. <laughs> um, Vita, is the monthly newsletter optional? Is there a cost for Kadem credit repair and how much? Uh, Vita, yes, it is. Uh, but the first month is free for the newsletter. The first month is free, but it is optional. I highly recommend when you sign up to take a look at the database that we have in there and all the versions that we have previously over the years, there's so much information in there and it's giving you so much more information about how to really run and scale your business. I can sit here and talk about it until I'm blue in the face, but you're going to get a, a, um, a copy of the newsletter every month in your mailbox from different articles from myself, from Ari, from our marketing team, from our HR team, from our sales team, from our, um, our CFO. Everybody is going to be in there and we all contribute into this newsletter to give you the best information to really grow and scale your business. Uh, speaking of Kadem, that was the other question. There is an extra charge with Kadem, but if you're a member of Fund and Grow, you do get a discount with Kadem. Um, 
Adam, can you, is the sound still choppy? Are you good? Can you hear me? Um, I'll answer your question. What personal credit is needed? Uh, like 640 FICO. Uh, Adam, we need the score to be up a little bit, but you can go ahead and sign up with us. We'll check, take a look at it. If you're not comfortable signing up, give us a call. 1-800-996-0270. The number right down here in the bottom right-hand corner. We'll be able to pull a pre-qualification for you and let you know where you're at and what your next step should be. If you should go right to Kadem, we're gonna or, or right to credit repair, or whatever, we're gonna be honest with you. We're not gonna take your money just to sit on it. But we want to give you the best opportunity to get the funding. If you're close, if we think that you're gonna get the funding pretty quick, take advantage of the discount. Most of the time, most of the clients that call in, they're able to sign up, they're able to take advantage of the discounts with Kadem. Um, but if you do wanna call in, allow us to take a look at your, your credit report, give us a call, 1-800-996-0270. Uh, Debbie, I just got new credit card in October. Would that disqualify me from funding in, until April? Debbie, it all depends. Is it a personal card? What kind of card is it? Uh, what's the limit? It all really depends on where we're at. It also depends on your average age of your other accounts. Uh, if your average age is, is less than a year now, then yeah, we probably would wait about six months to, to finish that. But it all depends on what the rest of your report looks like. Uh, it's very hard to give you a, a firm answer on that without seeing what's going on with your with your report. Uh, how much could I expect? I love this question. How much money could I expect? I have 750 personal credit, no new credit in six months. Have a business with a bank account, and have done over 500,000 in the in the past year. JM, it is impossible to answer that question. Why? We are not the lender. And for two, it's, it's illegal for me to give you an amount because I don't know yet. I have to look at your whole personal reports. I get what you're telling me. I, I, it sounds like you're in great shape for this, this program. I can promise you that you're going to get up to 250000 Most of the people in round one, we're averaging between forty dollars and $80,000 in the first round. I've seen people get over a hundred, hundred and fifty, hundred and sixty thousand. dollars $160,000. Somebody asked before, has anybody gotten over 250000 Yes, I've seen that before. JM, you sound like you're in great position to join the program. If you come in, I promise you, you're not going to be disappointed. I just can't give you a number. And I, I, if I gave you a number now, I don't want you to hold me to it. Obviously, if I told you $50,000, we are going to push for 150000 So I really need to look at your report to see what, what you're working with before I can do anything there. Um, from YouTube, uh, great job so far. You have helped me with eighty-six thousand dollars and my wife forty-one thousand. And waiting, waiting for Kadem to remove second inquiries. Uh, the first round were removed as, as stated. Great job, Zach. So, thank you so much. Uh, looks like that came from Raphael. Raphael, appreciate the feedback. Uh, that's just another great and, and happy client of ours. Excited to get you more funding. Look forward to seeing what we can do in the future for you. Uh, Omo's asking, what if we already have the LLC created? Can we get a bigger discount? Uh, unfortunately, you can't, um, but $700, that's going to be the best discount that you're going to see for our membership. Go ahead and sign up. It's going to speed up your process, and it's going to help with the funding as well. So you're really helping yourself. What happens if we don't use the funds right away? If you don't use the funds right away, no matter what, your 12 months or your 0% your interest uh, introductory period is going to start. So we recommend you using it. Even if you're not going to buy something extravagant for your business or use it for uh, purchasing real estate or, or a bunch of inventory for your uh, e-commerce business, still use it. Use it locally and make payments back to it because if you don't use the accounts and we go for round two, the banks aren't going to want to lend you any more money because you didn't use the, the money that they've already lent you. Uh, so, so definitely use it as much as you can. Is it possible to do this if I want to get into the movie production industry? Richard, absolutely. You can use this funds to purchase equipment, to go through courses. Uh, if you've got a, 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 somebody who's teaching you about that, that industry, you can pay them with the business credit. There's so much that you can do here. And it's going to save you so much money and so much time going this route. So, Richard, absolutely. It's actually a really good industry to get into. 
Elmo again. If we buy the program, can we wait before we activate it? Uh, you can purchase the program now. And then if, if there's something going on, we can put your file on hold, no problem. Uh, is it possible to do this if I want to get in? The, we just read that one, sorry. Um, are we personally responsible for the business credit? Yes, you are. It is personally guaranteed, but it doesn't show up on the personal credit report. So if you get this credit and, and you do not pay it back, it is going to impact you. You have to pay back the money that you borrow. You know, I'm sure if I borrowed a thousand dollars from you and I didn't pay it back, you're going to come after me, right? Even if it's for my business, you need to pay the funds back. If not, they will come after you personally. Yes. Uh, came in late. Are you offering a payment plan for the $32.95? Can it be spread out for the three payments? One, absolutely. Go to fundandgrow.com forward slash save 700. You'll be able to see the three payment plan, the two payment plan, and the pay in full plan as well. You can see on the screen here, uh, everything that's included in the membership. Ari already went over all of it. Um, but while I'm answering questions, here's everything that is included in the membership for you. Uh, Huey, uh, you said, Hey, I have a question. Go ahead and voice your question on here. Uh, that way we can, uh, get, get that answered for you. Uh, Sheila, what if you have been in a joint bankruptcy and will be out, out of, or will be soon out of it? Sorry, Sheila, go ahead and sign up. We've been seeing some approvals with bankruptcies. I don't, <laughs> If it's a brand new bankruptcy, it's going to be tough. But if it's eight, nine, 10 years old, then we're able to, to move forward or we can get you over to Kadem Credit Help. They can help to remove that bankruptcy from your reports. Uh, JM, do the business cards close down if not being used regularly, like with personal? Yes, but you have to use them like once a year, once every six months. It depends on the bank. Uh, but a quick swipe and a quick payoff, you should be fine. Uh, but the good thing about that is if you do not use it and it does shut down, it's not going to affect your personal report like it would with a, with a personal card. Does this program also boost personal credit lines, personal lines of credit? Yes, we do. We boost, um, we boost your personal, uh, revolving accounts. Uh, we try not to touch lines of credit on the personal side. If it's an actual true line of credit, uh, or a credit line, that's what we're, we're trying. We can, start maximizing your credit limits on your personal reports, but we're dealing with business credit cards, personal credit cards. We do have consolidation loans. We did start recently looking into SBA loans. So that option's available as well, if you're interested in that. But our go-to is getting up to 250,000 in 0% interest business credit. If I bring in a partner, is he free? Absolutely, you can only have one partner, but it's gotta be a business, a business partner, a friend, or a relative, you have to know this person. Okay. Don't just sign somebody up in the, in the comment section. Um, we need to make sure that, that the both of you agree on the terms and you're able to move through the program together. Once the, once the funding starts to happen, the time frame starts, you both take advantage of the same 12 month time frame. You don't get two separate 12 months. It's all under the same file. There's just two people in that file. Uh, should the business credit only be used for specific business or can it be used for multiple businesses? It can absolutely, absolutely be used for multiple businesses. It doesn't have to be stuck to the one. Um, Omo. Uh, Omo, did you go to fundandgrow.com forward slash save 700? It should take you directly to our sign up page. Let me back up just a little bit right here. It should take you to this page. If you're having any issues with signing up, please give us a call 1-800-996-0270. But you should be able to go to fundandgrow.com forward slash save 700 to sign up right there. Should not have any issues with there. But if you are, let us know. We'll be able to walk you through that process as well. All right, uh, let's go through a few more. 
I currently have a business credit card with 12K on it and 300 balance. If I put the cost for the program on my business credit card, will I be able to transfer to one of the 0% cards we acquire through the program? Vita, yes, we can do that. Um, it, it depends. Some of the business, business credit cards that we get do have 0% balance transfer offers, so it should not be a problem. Uh, I have seven hard inquiry from one year ago from Chase from opening three new accounts and three times asking for credit line credit limit increases. Am I still a good fit or should I wait to remove all those inquiries first? Uh, Huey, if the personal credit, if the inquiry resulted in a, in a personal credit approval, then you don't want to remove that inquiry. You're going to leave that inquiry on there. If your inquiries are over, over a year old, you should be fine. You can go ahead and move forward. Uh, do you offer business loans? I have a coaching program and want to allow students to st allow students to one get a loan to pay for the program, two get business credit cards to jumpstart their business. Jam, do you take credit cards? If not, they can use plastic to pay you. It's going to be so much cheaper than getting a business loan. This is the whole reason why we set this up. You're getting zero percent interest business cards. To one, you can scale your business but they can also use it to pay for coachings and trainings that you're offering. A lot of our affiliates, that's the clients that they're sending over to us. They're, they're sending them over to get the credit to be able to pay for those, those coachings and those, um, those lessons that are being offered there. So JM, yeah, we do offer some, some business loans, but the best thing to do would be um, to get the, the business credit. Uh, so if I have bad credit, should I sign up? Teresa, it all depends on where you're at. Give us a call, 1-800-996-0270. We'll be able to answer those questions. Our office is open from 9.30 to 5.30, uh, Monday through Friday, excluding holidays. But our business development team will be able to answer any questions that you have. Teresa, um, unfortunately, I can't answer that question. I just need to know a little more detail about what's going on. Uh Tiblets, once you sign up, uh, speaking of that, if you've signed up, let me know in the comments. I want to see if anybody signed up with us yet. I want to welcome you to the program. Uh, I want to want to definitely see where you're at. I want to remember your name. Uh, that way I can look back into your file. So uh, if you've signed up already from this webinar, please let us know. I'm very excited about it. I do see that we've had some signups already. We want to continue that thing going. I'm going to stay on as long as I can uh, to be able to answer some of your questions. Uh, I do have a business that has been around for ten, for about 10 years, but I only have one personal credit card with scores over 700. What would you recommend for me? Just from that, I would say that we would be in pretty good shape to go for some business, but we may want to apply for even a business card that reports personally like Capital One or even Discover, uh, but you should be in pretty good shape. Um, speaking of Capital One and Discover, those are one of the few accounts that um, do show up on the personal uh, profile. We don't apply for those very often, only in situations where we need one account that, that will boost your, your personal report. So um, I think you're in very good shape there, Pamela. Uh, JM, give us a call. Uh, if you want to join in into the affiliate program, give us a call. We'll be able to walk you through that as well. Our affiliate program, a lot of our affiliates are, are doing very well with sending clients over to excuse me, sending clients over to us. So yeah, we definitely welcome that. JM, give us a call and, and we'll be able to help you out there. A question on YouTube from Kelly Bird. Can I use my son as a partner, 18, he's in college and doesn't have any credit history? Kelly, yes, you can, but that's gonna be a situation where I talked about before where we're gonna have to start from building the personal. Then we're gonna build into the business credit there. Uh, Robert Dreas said, I signed up, filling out the application right now. That a boy. Way to go, Robert. Appreciate that. Uh, Huey, yes, on my personal and even I have seven hard inquiries. I'm still a good fit, but what amount of inquiries limit me from getting more credit? If so, would you recommend me to remove the inquiries that for the credit limit increase? It all depends on what the rest of your credit profile looks like, Yoy. Uh, Huey, uh, it really does. It, it, give us a call. We'll go, we'll go ahead. Either way, we're going to be able to help you. 
You know, it, either way, we're going to be able to help you. Take advantage of the $700 discount. It just may take a little bit of time. We can help you remove the inquiries. You're not going to get a better opportunity to sign up than now. Tiblet signed up. Awesome. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see the success there. Uh, JM, how does the DMB credit work? Do you set up DMB credit? How will that be different than business credit? So the DMB credit, it's not personally guaranteed. So anything that you need to better your lendability, just go through that process, that step-by-step -step process that you'll find in your client portal, and you'll be able to get approved for, for the vendor lines. A lot of those are net 30, net, net 60 accounts where you have to pay them back within that 30 or 60 days. But what it does is it gives you a better paydex score. The paydex score, the DMB, all of that is based on what your business profile looks like. And the banks do pull that. Not all of them, but a lot of them do to see what kind of history your, your business is, is at, how you're doing on your business side. So JM, there's a, there's a breakdown, there's a step-by-step-by-step -by -step -by -step process to go into there. Uh, I, I definitely recommend signing up and, and taking advantage of that because you can work through that the whole 12 months. You're not gonna be able to get 100,000 tomorrow. You're not gonna be able to buy the building that we're in tomorrow with corporate credit, but you have to build your way up there, right? This is the perfect spot to start building and then you can start to scale from there. Oh, perfect, JM. So then you can skip down. He said, I already have a, a DMB, just not the credit. So you can skip through the first part. Then you can actually start to apply for these accounts. Uh, my son has a nonprofit. Could this be used with, with that also? Pamela, yes. It's just a little more difficult with some more hoops to jump through for the nonprofit. I would recommend setting up a, a sole proprietorship or a different LLC to get the funding under. And if they wanted to fund that nonprofit with that business, then absolutely do it that way. All right, let's start moving forward a little bit. Uh, here's some initial approvals uh, that, that we were able to get our account managers here. This one was initially approved for 25,000, was able to increase into 40,000. That's the negotiation process that we go through. A lot of people, they come in like, why do I have to pay? Why would I pay to get business credit? This is exactly why. Right here, prior $31,000, $31,500 was able to increase it into $63,000. That's why. We know who to talk to. We know how to get in touch with the underwriters and speak on their level. And we know how to get feisty with them. We know how to really explain to them why this profile deserves a $63,000 card. We really push them all for it. You can see here, these initial approvals were zero. These initial approvals were zero. Our account managers were able to change zeros on the initial applications on uh, April 14th to $112,000. This one here, $62,500. That's the process that we follow. That's why the account managers get paid the way that they do, like Ari was mentioning. This, they, they probably had to overturn some of these accounts to get them approved. But when you submit an application, no matter if you do it over the phone or you do it online, it's going through the lender's computer system. So we push them to get it to an underwriter and then we explain to the underwriter why that's a bad decision, why they, should, why they shouldn't decline, why they should continuously look at this to, to give us a $45,000 card. Here's the reason why. And then we've got to try to switch their, their, their brain and their thinking away from the computer system and actually get a human being to look at it, uh, which helps tremendously, which is why we're able to get these accounts. But another thing is, we're the professionals when it comes to this. We really are. There's a, there's a, um, a saying that we like to say here, I know that I've said it all the time, but if you ever ended up in a, in a court of law, God forbid you don't, if you do, hopefully it's for a good reason, but what's the first thing that you're gonna do? You're gonna hire an attorney, right? The attorney is going to go in there and represent you on the other attorney's level, on the judge's level, so that you don't have to do it yourself. You put your trust into the attorney. Same thing with business credit. Fund and Grow is the professional at getting the business credit so that we can get $108,000 in the first round. We can get over $100,000 for you. We're going to do this in a lot faster way than you can typically do on your own. What we do in 12 months 
takes people to do it on their own sometimes between three and four years to do because they don't know the process and they're not able to talk to the underwriters on our level on their level but we're here to take care of you uh, here's a good uh, slide here of what we were able to do over the last four months in July our account managers were able to get 19 million drop just a little bit to 18.6 18.6 in September, but we all set a goal for October to hit $21 million. We exceeded that goal. We hit $21 million. That's where we wanted to be. We know that's where we can be. This month in, in November, we are going to hit another $21 million, and I continuously seeing this go up. Our account managers, they all have competitions with each other. Here's our account managers here on the screen um, that, that you can see behind me or on your screen in front of you. Uh, we have competitions about who's the champ, who got the most credit gains, but they all have friendly competitions that we promote. And that's for every department here. They all have their friendly competitions about how many files they can get through, how much credit they can get. But it's so much fun to work with with this group here uh, and everybody in the building because uh, of the fire that they, they're, they're really lighting. Uh, Sabrina here is our funding manager. She really does a great job at pushing these guys uh, and ladies to, to call the banks and, and stay on the phone, uh, phone call after phone call after phone call and really beat up the underwriters to get the most amount of funding. Uh, you can see their action shots here. You can see Zach here. You can see Chris here uh, with their title, bet on, title belt on that says uh, credit gains, fund and grow, undisputed champ. Not sure if you can see that on your screen or not, but we had a custom belt made, which is pretty cool. You know, they get a kick out of it. Uh, they're all pushing for the top. I believe the last winner um, was, was Denise, which is here. Uh, she had over $2 million in a month. In, in credit gains, uh, but a few of them did as well. This month, we've already got a few people that are over $2 million. Um, Robert asked a question here. I'm filling out the app and the POA changed my address from my office to my home. How do I change it back to my office address? Robert, the power of attorney is going to ask for your home address. Uh, that is for internal use only. We'll use whatever address that you want us to on the application. So you're fine there. Um, JM, are you seeing it easier today to get more credit? Can that change based on the state of the market like a recession? We saw a little bit, JM, we saw a little bit of a dip during COVID um, where we did drop a little bit, but credit cards aren't going anywhere. The 0% introductory period aren't, isn't going anywhere. We're seeing more funding now than, than we have ever before. This has been a record month. Actually, all of these months here were record months. Um, I don't see it going anywhere. The banks are continuously lending. Um, it, it's really, I, I, don't, I really don't see it uh, receding any whatsoever. Uh, here's another example here, $42,000 um, through Chase that we were able to get. Here's another one, $25,000, which is Elon Financial. Um, here's another one, first batch of funding, along with got us $231,500 worth of credit within our first batch. Somebody asked how much we can get in our first round, in their first round. There we go. So let me ask you a question. What's standing in your way for success? So if you want business, if you want to start your business or, or you're looking and you just, you don't know what next step, what's your next step, or there's just a hurdle that you can't get over, what's standing in the way of your own success? Is it you don't have a business, bad credit, you don't have the money, time? Let me know, comment right now. I want to see it so I can try and help you with those issues of getting started with us. Uh, what if I don't qualify? We've already talked about that. We can help anybody. We really can. Um, you can go through that corporate credit section. You know, that's that non-recourse funding that doesn't is not personally guaranteed. So you can start that right away. Uh, we'll get you in touch with Credit Pair. We'll get you in touch with Kadem Credit Help, or we'll give you the direction to go uh, to remove some of those derogatories, debt consolidation. 
There was a question about that previously. What if I have accounts that are over the 30 to 35% range? Once you get up there, your score is going to start to drop anyway. But we're going to get you some debt consolidation. We'll tell you when to pay it down. We'll help you with some loans if you need it. Uh, but we're going to try and stay away from that as much as possible. We'll give you the best way to start making some pay downs on the current debt that's on your personal report. It won't count towards your credit, your, your membership. This is great. This is the best part about this, that your 12 months isn't going to start until we start to get you funding. So if you need credit repair, take advantage of this discount because I promise you it's not going to last long. It's going to be over today. When I hang up on this, this call, we've got another replay at 8 o'clock. Once that's done, the discount's done. We're not going to be able to open it anymore. The $700 is there for you to take now or the $700 discount's there for you to take now. Lock in the discount and the bonuses by going right here, fundandgrow.com forward slash save 700. Do it now. Take advantage of the discount. Take advantage of the bonuses and let's get going. Let me know if you've signed up. I want to welcome you. Uh, I appreciate everybody that has signed up. I know that we're moving pretty quick here, uh, getting a lot of sign up. So if you did, let me know. Uh, JM, I'm trying to keep up with all your questions here. Uh, bear with me. If I skip one, just let me know. Uh, the business credit is unsecured. Uh, it is not. It is not tied to a to an asset or anything like that, like an auto loan or mortgages. If you don't make your mortgage payment, they're going to take your house. If you don't make the auto loan payment, it's uh, they're going to take your 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 car. Uh, this one here, it's not tied to any assets. It's not it's not secured. So if you don't make the payment, so if you if you close on a a, a real estate deal for a cash buy, so if you go through plastic and you wire over. Or, or ACH, uh, I don't know, 75K, and you're not able to pay this back, they can't take the property, but it is going to impact you. All right. For the free second member, if I add a friend, will they see my personal info? Robert, we can set up what's called a split file for you so you can still be under the same file but you're not going to be able to access each other's information. Just let us know when you uh, get to that point. Uh, Huey, my partner doesn't have an LLC and she was, she's wondering if she, she's setting up a sole prop to obtain credit. Does she have to file tax for the sole prop at the end of the year? She has no intention to do business. She just wants the credit. Huey, no, as long as you're not bringing in a, um, uh, if you're not bringing in income to the business, if you're not showing revenue, if you're not bringing revenue into the business, you don't have to file taxes. Some of the sole proprietorships that we set up are for banking purposes. So uh, you're good there. Um, question on YouTube from Jason Rocks Vegas. Cool name, Jason. Uh, current business is a blue collar service business for 20 years. Want to use funding to invest in real estate and not use it for the service business. Need to create another entity. It'd be smart to. That way you can keep real estate separate, but to get the funding, no, you do not. Um, if you're doing um, a different service for your, for your current business, you want to get into real estate, I would create another LLC and put your property or properties under that, or even a new LLC for every property, depending on what you're trying to do. You can get the funding, and I would recommend getting the funding for your current LLC or your current business and then using it to fund your other business. That's fine. Lisa, welcome to the family. Thanks for signing up. Appreciate it. Uh, JM, do you also do lines of credit with banks or just credit cards? We, we can, JM, um, but our main focus is business credit cards. If we get somebody who's got a really good uh, profile, has got a good relationship with them, the problem with lines of credit is they're going to ask for a lot of documentation, um, you know, expense reports, tax returns, things like that. But with the business credit, they're not going to ask for any of that stuff. So we try to stay away from lines of credit, uh, but we will go after them if the client's asking us to. All right, keep your questions coming. Uh, I'm going to jump back to the slide. Again, if you signed up, let me know. So excited to see everybody. Katem, again, if you come into us now, you need help. 
We're going to be able to start working with you immediately, but we're going to get you in contact with, with uh, Kadem for a credit repair. They've been working with our clients since 2008. They've got the multi-channel dispute method. They're able to remove lates, charge-offs, bankruptcies, collections, inquiries, anything that you can think of. Kadem's going to be able to help you out. Uh, there, there's positive reviews for them as well. But again, if you're on the fence about signing up with Fund and Grow because of credit repair, sign up with us now. You get a discount to work with Kadem if you sign up with us now. You're going to get a good discount. So take advantage of the discount with us. Take advantage of the discount with Kadem. We'll get moving forward. Here's our corporate credit program, non-recourse funding, vendor trade lines. Again, this is non-PG, not personally guaranteed funding. So if you're going through Kadem, start working on the corporate credit program. You can start working on that day one. It talks about how to get an EIN number, how to set up an entity, how to get your DUNS number, and then starts to work its way into getting the, the vendor trade line. So if you're coming in, let us know. Start working on that. It's something to work on day one and continue throughout your membership. This is all included in the, in the $3,297, the $700 discount, the program, the membership. This is all included in it, uh, and it's definitely something that you should take advantage of. <clears throat> Some FAQs really quick. How can I use the funding? You can use it as a regular credit card. You can use it however you want to use it, especially through plastic. If you're looking to purchase real estate, you can send a wire transfer ACH money over through plastic. Anything that you're looking for, look into plastic. It's plastic.com. That'll show you what you need to do. They'll be able to look at it and, and they'll, they'll give you the, the restrictions. Again, it's got to be for a business. It can't be person to person there. All right. What if I already have business credit? Wonderful. Wonderful. It's going to help you. It's already showing establishment on the business side. So you're going to want to pay the business accounts down to lower than 50%. Right. So if you've got maxed out business credit, we're going to ask you to pay that down to below 50 percent before we move forward. But you've already got relationships established that we can go ahead and piggyback on and excuse me and start to apply for them. Raise the limits that you already have. Start the crowd or the card stacking process. It, it's great. Let's go ahead and start doing it. If you already have business credit, no problem whatsoever. Uh, will the balances on my business cards hurt my credit score? Absolutely not. It does not affect your personal credit score whatsoever. That's what I'm saying. You can max these accounts out and it will not affect your personal. That's why you want to separate your personal from your business. Separate your expenses. Put all your personal here, all your business here. You're going to see if you do that, you're going to see your personal score go up and your business score, your paydex score go up as well because it's showing payment history, but it doesn't matter what the balances are. You just need to get them down. You want to pay them down to about 40, 40 to 50% before you apply for more credit because they're going to look at it and, and think you're a risk if you've got a high balance in there. Uh, what are the monthly payments? So the minimum payment on these accounts are about 1%. 1% of the balance or... 25 to 35 dollars whichever is greater and it depends on the lender my recommendation and you're going to hear this recommendation from everybody at fund and grow is to make two to three times the minimum payment why because you want to show payment history and you want to show good payment history with them for instance and this is my favorite thing to use as well. My favorite example. If I lend Joe a hundred dollars and then I lend Mason a hundred dollars, Joe, I required a minimum payment of, let's stand up a little bit. There we go. 
I, my minimum payment on this is five dollars. So Joe's sitting there thinking, oh great, I'll just give you five dollars every month to pay me back. That's fine, that's all I'm asking for. But it doesn't really show that I can trust Joe so much. Mason, on the other hand, he's able to pay me back at $25 a month. So Mason is able to pay me back in four months. Joe, on the other hand, it's going to take him quite a while to pay me back, right? So 20 months, right? 25, yeah, 20 months to pay me back. So when Joe comes back to me and he says, hey, can you lend me another $1,000? I'm going to say no, because it, it, he's not able to pay me back very quickly. It took him 20, 20 months to pay me back $100. Mason, on the other hand, if he comes to me and says, hey, let me borrow $1,000, I'd be more willing to offer him $1,000 or even more because he showed that I can trust him with paying me back with his monthly payments. I hope that makes sense, but that's really what the banks are looking for in that three to four months in between rounds of funding that we go after. So you want to make chunk payments. You want to make big payments like this here so that the banks trust you, the risk factor goes down, and they're going to lend you more money. So then we take this $100 that, that we lend the first round, and if I give him 1000 here, we're going to take this 100 we're going to put it into the thousand and give them 1100. Now these are very low numbers. I just wanted to use these for, for example purposes, uh, only. So, um, that's basically how it works. That's how the, the banks actually look at it and determine your risk. Now, for instance, if I lent Joe a hundred dollars on a credit card and, and Joe used it every day, just a hundred dollars or, or put $50 here, 20, 10, whatever the case is, but continuously paid me back like this, that's what's going to be the risk. If Mason, I, I gave him a credit card for $100 and he's putting $75 on it, giving me $25 back a month, putting money on it, paying it off, putting money on it, paying it off. Again, that's how this number is going to turn from 100 to to 1,000 to 10K to, to even $100,000. We actually got a $50,000 credit card approval uh, yesterday uh, for a client that came through that used it just like this. His first uh, his first card came out and it was like $2,000. We told him how to do it. We showed him how to use it, showed him how to make the paydowns, and he was able to get into uh, a $50,000 card, which we're going to be able to increase uh, once the card arrives. Um, let's look back, see... Uh, Debbie, am I responsible if the secondary cannot pay back for some unforeseen reason or is their funding separate? The funding is completely separate for the primary and the secondary, so you don't have to worry about that, Debbie. No, you are not tied to it. If you do it as a joint account, we don't do joint accounts here. We do separate accounts uh, altogether for the primary and the secondary. Great question, though, Debbie. Thank you for that. Uh, the Fund and Grow credit or the Fund and Grow website says the cost is $39.97. Do not go to that website then. <laughs> go to this website. Go to fundandgrow.com forward slash save 700 to take advantage of the discount. What happens when my membership expires? Well, if you sign up today, that's great news because who knows what's going to happen next Black Friday. But like I said before, uh, when we were talking about Nick Perry, we want returning clients. We want returning customers. You can continuously use this service over and over and over again. Uh, who can I use as a secondary applicant? This is very important. Family, close friend, or business partner. Cannot be anybody off the street. You have to know that individual and you have to sign up together uh, to get this, um, get this discount and get the BOGO for, for your secondary applicant. What are the payment plans and can I still get funding right away if, if I do a payment plan? We have a three payment plan. 
We have a two payment plan and we have a payment in full. If you use one of the payment plans, you can get started right away. You can take it, take advantage of the whole membership um, with the payment plan. But remember, if you sign up today on a payment plan, the next payment is going to run automatically on the 30th day. If you do the third payment, then the third payment is going to run 60 days from the date of sign up. To take advantage of the discount, if, if, if you get into a payment plan, if you pay in full before the 30th day, you will still take advantage of the full discount at 30, 32 97 If you pay after the 30 days, that's when the finance fees kick in. So you are going to pay a little bit over 32 97 but it's still a great deal. You're still getting um, the, uh, the credit and the discount. How we leverage the capital, we use it for everything. You know, we, we use it for everything. The office building, uh, Ari already talked about that. We use it, the corporate credit to actually purchase the office building that I'm sitting in right now. Advertising, SEO and PPC, pay-per-click, uh, that's the search engine optimization um, for the SEO, supplies, equipment, anything that we need as a company, we use this business credit for. We absolutely do vendors, contractors. Um, we we get lunch for the staff once a month. We we get uh, we celebrate anniversaries, birthdays. Uh, we use all of that for with business credit. If we're paying a contractor to come in, uh, the, any of the contractors that we use to help us, we definitely use business credit for. Uh, so anything that you're looking for, we're going to be able to help you out. Uh, the business credit will be able to help you. If you're having issues today or you, you're not able to submit a question or, or whatever, you're still on the fence, give us a call and talk to somebody on this team that you can see right here in front of me, next to me. Uh, they're a great team. They'll be able to answer any questions. Like I said, they'll be able to actually pull your credit uh, as a soft pull and, and really give you a breakdown of what to expect in our program, in our membership before you actually get started. So if you have any questions, but you got to call now, call now to take advantage of this discount. Don't wait. Don't wait until the eight o'clock one, because we are going to be closing today at 530, but the webinar will be running. You can still sign up from the webinar at the link below. But if you want to talk to somebody from our business development team, what a great looking group of folks we got there. Uh, give them a call. They'll be able to answer whatever questions that you have. All right. Here's our payment plans. Like I was discussing one time payment at 32 97, two months at 1774 per month running every 30 days. One would run today. One would run on the 30th day and then 1266 per month. One running today one running 30 days from today, and then the other one running 60 days from today. So there's payment plans there. If you don't have the whole 3297, go ahead and split it up into payments. If you can make the payments in full before the 30th day, great. If not, we'll automatically run those payments and you'll be able to move forward from there. So go to fundandgrow.com forward slash save 700, save 700. Give us a call. However you want to do it, we're here to help you. To fast track your funding though, let's talk about that a little bit. A 720 score is recommended. The rest of it, we're gonna dig into your personal reports to see where you're at, where your lendability position is. What do we need to do there? But if you come in, you've got two to three revolving accounts, uh, personal on the personal side, they're paid down, they're below 30%. The average age of them is two years or more, even a year or more. Um, at least over six months, got a 720 score, your inquiries aren't high, there's no derogatories, you're, you're ready to roll. We can get you into funding quick, but if you have derogatories, if you have bankruptcies, if you have whatever, we're going to have to put, we're going to have to work with you a little bit longer. All right. So just listen to our recommendations and allow us to work with you to get you in the best position possible to move forward. So the amount of debt that you have is actually 30% of your score. Payment history, which I just talked about, is 35%. Credit mix is 10%, but it does come into play. So that's the difference between like revolving like credit cards and mortgages and auto loans and student loans and things like that. The other 10% is new credit. So new credit, it's not going to drop your score, 
but it does affect what the banks look at when they're looking at your personal reports. They want to make sure that you're not going to overstretch or over um, uh, look for more credit than you can actually handle, right? So you want to make sure that the that the accounts are about six months old before we apply. Length of history is 15%. So the two biggest thing is the amount of debt that you have and the payment history. Payment history I already talked about. If you can continuously make on-time payments, if you can't make chunk payments, at least make them on time. A late payment is detrimental to your report. You have a late payment, it is gonna drop your report tremendously. Make sure your payments are on time with at least the minimum payment, if not more. The amount of debt, that is huge. So I, I told you before, we get clients that come in with a 680, 660, 670, but we get their, their debt down off of their personal and onto the business or consolidate it with the loan their score immediately skyrockets because 30% of the, of the um, score is factored by your, your amount of debt. But as soon as you can move this from the personal over to the business, again, it's gonna, it's gonna skyrocket. So uh, that's something that we'll walk you through. Uh, the other thing is average age, variety of credit, late payments, charge offs, if you've got derogatories on there, we'll take care of them. Either way, we can definitely help you. Uh, already went through that. Leave that up there, let you read it while I'm answering some of these questions. Uh, Vita, can my secondary applicant and I pay using different methods? Example, I pay lump sum. A business partner utilize the payment plan. Um, not sure why you'd want to do that, Veda. If, if you pay for the membership, um, you two should kind of figure out a, a payment plan together. Um, the, the file is paid by one person, usually the primary, the key holder, and then a payment plan there. Um, we don't really like to mix. If you pay in full, we can use two separate accounts to do so. If you get into the payment plan, we do want it to be one account. So. Uh, Vita, um, the best thing to do would be somebody pay for it up front and then you two kind of talk about the payment plan there. We would rather it be on one account if possible. Uh, we've got a YouTube question. Travis, uh, does making only relatively small purchases with business credit negatively impact my ability to get higher limits in the future rounds? It does not, Travis. They want to see, and now it, it, it kind of depends, right? They, they want to see where you're at personally um, with, with your payment history, with your spending history. It, it, they're not expecting, if they give you a $50,000 card, they're not expecting you to max that out, but it's there if you need it. Now you can use small accounts. I, I do it with my business accounts. Uh, if, if I don't have anything crazy going on, if I need to use something on my business accounts or if I need to buy something, I don't use my debit card anymore. I use my business card and then I pay it off monthly. But that's showing great payment history. The banks, every time you swipe a card, every time you swipe a personal credit card or a, or a business credit card, the, if it's a Visa or MasterCard, they're getting paid. Uh, Bank of America, Chase, whoever the issuers, they're getting paid. So they don't, it, it's not gonna hurt you, but you definitely wanna use it and show history. So hopefully that made sense to you, Travis. Um, another question from, uh, if you have multiple businesses, how easy is it to get multiple business credit once you get your first business credit? Will it still be dependent on personal credit if you already have business credit? JM, yes, it will be dependent on your personal credit, um, but it does make it easier because they have more to look at. They have more to see um, if you do have the business credit. That's where the payment history and all that stuff comes in that I was just talking about. So uh, the more you have, and the, even the, the non-recourse corporate credit, if you have that, it definitely helps you with uh, obtaining more and more business credit. So great question there, but it'll always be tied to your personal credit report. So got to make sure that you keep your personal in, in good shape. Uh, Fund and Grow Credit Services. If, if you need to look to see where you're at on your personal reports, go to fundandgrowcreditservices.com. This is a great tool, a great credit monitoring tool that you can use, and it's only $15.95 a month. 
You can refresh your reports every 30 days, once a month. You get new reports, you get new scores, unlimited access, you get credit alerts. It, it can really help you out and really show you where you're at in terms of your personal credit report. Uh, bad credit, again, we already talked about this. Kadem Credit helps there for all your needs. They've been helping our clients for years. Uh, getting them in the best lendable position and moving forward from there. So um, they're, they're definitely there to help you. Uh, not, um, there's nothing that they haven't seen, I guess. So again, what's included in our membership? Up to $250,000 is 0% interest business credit, which is huge. Uh, that that's used to grow and scale your business, right? It's zero percent. It's not going to affect you personally. You can max it all out. It's not going to affect your personal credit. One-on-one -on -one credit coaching. Here's where our customer service comes in. Client relations, processing, account managing. Anybody who's in this building is going to hold your hand and walk you through with one-on-one -on -one credit coaching, whether it's your personal or your business. That's what I'm so excited about. That's what is my passion is customer service, helping people and helping people not get into the same boat that I had when I first opened up my business. I had a business years and years ago. It was a moving business. Um, it was my first business that I opened up, but I didn't have the capital to stay alive. I drained my 401k. I drained everything in my personal account. The holidays came around. The brake lines went out in my truck. I needed some more repairs done to my truck. I completely ran out of money. I, I couldn't move forward. If I had business credit, I would still be, you know, going crazy with the moving company probably. Obviously, we're going on other things, but that's, as soon as I learned about business credit, that's where this really comes into hand and that's where I, I get the passion of helping everybody because I don't want you to fall into that position. You know, this was years ago that, that I ran into that situation, but now we're in, in so much better situation to be able to coach you on this and to actually use the, the business credit to grow and scale your business. We're going to create your, your entity. You're going to teach you how to utilize it like cash. Remember, you're not pulling cash off the cards, but you're able to use the ACH um, and, and to be able to move forward from there at 2.8%. Credit coaching package, $100,000 in DNB corporate credit, free, bit, free partner upgrade, and a newsletter. So if you have any questions, please let us know. Again, fundandgrow.com forward slash save 700. You're going to get the price point at $32.97. If you still have questions, please give us a call. 1-800-996-0270. I think I was able to answer everybody's questions um, as they came in. If not, uh, please send them through really quick. If you don't have anything, then we can go ahead and move forward. Uh, I'm going to sign off. Remember, there's a, there's a replay tonight at 8 o'clock. Once that's done, the price booking is going to be closed. So if you want to take advantage of this $700 discount, please let us know. Um, one more question. Um, let's see here. Any great ways to use the credit that would be my only obstacle to generate cash flow with the credit lines. It all depends on what you're trying to get into, uh, Kel. Um, don't really understand. If you're if you're looking to start up your business, you know, just use it for anything that you need help with. You know, marketing, ads, pay per click. Uh, you need supplies. Um, you need a coaching. Hire a coach. Pay him with the business credit. Uh, anything that you're looking to use it for, go ahead and use it. Uh, while going through the program, is it best to keep the business balances under 40% or you can go higher than that? Uh, Eugene, that was a question from YouTube. You can go higher than that. You just need to get them paid down about a, a few weeks before your next round of funding, right? You don't want to go in there with a higher balance because the banks are going to look at that. They are going to look at your payment history, but they're also going to look at your overall utilization and where it currently is. All right, I think I've got all the questions answered. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you for joining me today, joining Ari today. 
I, I look forward to seeing you come through. Thanks for everybody that signed up today. I know we got quite a few people coming through. Uh, looking forward to you signing up and, and working with us. I wish everybody a happy holidays. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and a wonderful Black Friday and getting yourselves ready for Christmas. Uh, what better way to, to get ready for Christmas than to come in and start working on your uh, business credit to get yourself and, and start to grow your, your business and really scale and start your, your 2022 year off on a, on a leg up on, on everybody else in your competition. So I want to thank everybody. I appreciate it. I look forward to speaking with everybody soon. And remember, where we fund, you grow. Thank you.